All right, this is Mr. McKee with NOS 2.30. Uh, today we're going to be creating a an additional uh, group policy object for our Active Directory. Uh, you guys can see that I'm in my forest, I'm in my domain, which those are the same. I only have one domain controller, which I'm on right now. Okay, let's see, server manager in the background, minimize that. Okay, what we got to do before we get started, and just to let you guys know, this project's going to be to um, automatically map a drive when somebody logs in on our Windows 7 machines uh, or any other machines that are on our um, domain. Alright, so since we're on VMware, I need to right click my server, uh, MTM server 2012, domain controller, settings, alright, you guys won't see the second hard drive, I'm going to remove that. Alright, you guys are just going to see one hard drive. Alright, so we want to add another hard drive. And this is going to be the shared hard drive we're setting up for our map drive. Okay, create, a, uh, choose all the defaults. That's fine. Alright, so now you see the first hard drive, second virtual hard drive. Alright. So let's click OK. Alright. So we need to go in our server manager and tools, computer management, there's a couple different ways to get there, I'm going to show you guys just the basic way to get there. Alright, disk management, alright, just like when you install a brand new hard drive and it's not initialized and it's not formatted, alright, there's our existing hard drive, our C, and we need to right click the second hard drive, put it online, And it should say this one. MBR is fine for what we're doing. All right, it's online. Six gigabytes. That's fine. Right-click that. New volume. Simple new volume. Make it an X. Everybody, make sure theirs is an X, so I know that you guys got it correct. Uh, use this defaults. All right, it's going to format it. All right, got it formatted. Little blue stripe on the top, good to go. All right, we can close this down. Let's go to our file manager. All right, we want to right click that new volume. Properties, uh, sharing. Actually, let's see what we got. We're going to need to make sure users can read, execute, list folders, read, and not write. Okay, everyone, group, okay. Alright, so under sharing, let's share this thing. Yep, shared as X, that's fine. Alright, so there's our path. Alright close that go to tools group policy management all right under test uh, OU1 and right click create a GPO in this domain link it here and we're gonna map Map network drive today is two sixteen seventeen. All right, that's in there. We're gonna edit it. All right, and this might take a second, so let me get to it. All right. All right, under. Let's do it on a computer. Alright, Windows settings. And there's so many of these. I don't expect you guys to remember this by heart. Alright. And where's my drive maps? Configuration. 
configurations, preferences, window settings. There's our drive maps. I was in the wrong place. All right. Right there. So this is what you guys will see. User config policies. Click on preferences. Map drives. Okay. So it's empty. Right click it. New map drive. All right. Action. We're going to update it. Actually create a drive. There's our location. And that's our, this is our server 2012, X drive, label as, okay, this is going to be our, actually, let's make it, let's, let's make it sound good. Um, let's make it school documents. Okay. We'll make it the X drive also, just to keep it straight. All right, connect as optional. Don't need to change that. Click OK. See how hey, we have a shared drive. It has a little green triangle. All right, so create a drive. Every time somebody logs in, create a drive. All right, and since we have our users are going to be Let's go back to this. All right. Users and computers. All right, test user one. We'll log in with test user one, okay? All right. And just to make sure we don't have any issues, let's do command uh, GP update forward slash uh, force. So we're going to force that uh, group policy update. Updating policy, it's going to process it. The update, it's going to prompt us to restart. All right. Certain user policies are enabled that can only run during log on. OK to log off. Yes. Why? All right. It's going to restart us. So let's do control alt insert since we're on. All right, it's logging me on to that's my server name. All right, so back on to Windows 7 X1. All right, now, moment of truth, let's see. Has computer map to drive? It did map to drive. School documents. All right, so we map to drive. All right, so we could open this up. We could save, see if we can add a new folder. All right, I gotta ch check the permissions, but to actually uh, create a new folder. But for now, you guys have read access. So, kind of think of this as the NAS server. You guys can read, you guys can execute, um, you just can't update for now. Um, that would be fine. That's just like school documents you have access to that people don't need ch uh, changing. All right, so that's done. Let's go ahead and what I need is a screenshot of. All right, close this down, close this down. I need a screenshot of map network drive details okay content with application coming up is blocked click close I want to see that this is this the meat of the lab all right letter we created was an X drive its location is on the server which is the main controller as it's the X uh, hard drive Okay. All right, label as school documents. Okay, everything else is good. Don't worry about, you can't save anything to that um, folder right now. All right, I just want to, want to be able 
see that you guys can get through this. So control alt print screen. Start up Word document. Alright, blank document. Control V. And do that. This is screenshot. Screenshot one, which is a screenshot of the group policy management. Policy management in parentheses, we're going map network drive to sixteen seventeen. All right, so we know that's it. that all right that's one screenshot one more all right this is what I want a screenshot of okay so we know that's right that's fine all right so my Windows 7 and if your background does if, if that uh, background image doesn't show up I really don't care right now all right the big thing is I want to make sure this is mapped and let's see properties I just want to look. The users read. Okay, so that that that's why you can't write in there. Read and execute list folder contents and read. All right. So we're logged in as a user. If we're logged in as administrator, we can write to it. Okay. But users on this Active Directory domain cannot write. That's why I can't create a folder. All right. So that makes sense. Let's go ahead and do a screenshot of this. Actually, you know what? While we're looking at it, let's just do a screenshot of this too, so we know. We know our permissions. And highlight users, and it should show your initials, SRV2012, and it added an extra zero for the NetBio's name. That's fine. And it's the users group. Okay. So screenshot right here. And let's paste this. Alright, pretty easy. I did it in, what does this say, 12 minutes. I don't expect you guys to be able to do that that fast. It's just, I've done this over a couple times. Okay, so, this is going to be screenshot 2. Uh, name this. This is going to be the screenshot of... Um, XXX pin 7 X1 uh, map drive map drive and folder permissions and folder all right make, make it look the same that's fine. All right, I want to crop out some of this, highlight it, do a little cropping. I want to fit it on one page. Make sure I can verify that you're logged in as you, though. Well, actually, for this one, it really doesn't matter. The first one, yeah. I can tell your forest and your domain is correct. All right, let's make this one a little bit smaller. I'm trying to make it one page. All right. Can I even do this? All right. Do this. Do this. That's fine. All right. Fits to one page. Let me make that one a little bit bigger. Uh, okay. All right. So that's what we're looking at. This is what I'm going to grade you guys on. Group management. Group policy management. Screenshot. You set up the map network drive. All right. Should show that. Uh, Settings tab shows exactly what that group policy object is doing, the action it's taking. Okay, and this is the action taken showing this page. All right, so looking at this, the last quiz we had on Tuesday, you did the background. Okay, this is the next thing we're doing is mapping a drive. All right, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, it took me about 15 minutes, so you guys should be able to do this during class.
All right. Thanks. Bye.